screens. Love them, hate them. Uh, don't like how they leave all the fingerprints all over your, your screen, like you saw in that video before. So, what we've got here, hopefully, is the um, solution to our problem. If I can get it open. Uh, what we have here is... Yeah, mud flaps, do that another day. What we've got here is a glass, tempered, green protector. Hopefully we'll stop the fingerprints as well. I would normally go for a matte one, but there's not really much available in Australia at the moment. This one came in from overseas, didn't take long, only like 10 days, cheap to 20 bucks or something like that. Um, there'll be a link uh, up there, you can, you can get one directly yourself. Have a look at this video first though, let's see if it's any good. Uh, this is for the main screen in the MG4. You touch it a lot, and that's why it leaves fingerprints everywhere. Now, you've probably put a screen protector on your phone, and uh, probably got bubbles in it too. Hopefully we don't have that kind of issue here. Uh, that would be the, oh yeah, alcohol wipe and little microfiber to get it on there. Pretty well packaged, sturdy. I don't, I don't think it's broken, I haven't really opened it yet. What have we got in the package here? Okay, taped it down, good. And we've got, oh, we've got two, yeah. So we've got a big one for the main uh, touch screen display in the MG4 and a small one for the driver's display as well. Be careful. All right, well, looks like the right thing. Uh, let's go and put it in, see how difficult it is to install. All right, hopefully we can get this done without having too many problems or cracks in the screen or air bubbles anywhere. Pretty filthy dis display. We've only had the car for like a week, but you're touching it all the time. It does come with some alcohol in there to wipe the screen down. I'm just going to use some regular old uh, glass cleaner first. I'll tell you what, might as well get both of the screens done while we're getting a bit messy. You could use a microfiber. I've just got one of them disposable kitchen sort of cloth towels. Th these might leave a little bit of lint. So yeah, you'd, you'd probably want to use a microfiber. Don't do what I do. Do what I say or recommend. Something like that. Try not to get the screen too wet. You don't want it dripping down into your controls or anything like that. Hopefully that looks a little bit cleaner. There is a little bit of fluff there. Fluff is the enemy of any screen protector. Like I said before, you could actually use just a film um, because you're not going to be carrying this in your pocket like your phone. You don't really need it as a tempered glass, but yeah, I couldn't find any film locally in Australia anyway. So you know what? We'll go with the, uh, the tempered glass option. See what it's like. Now, one and two. Let's do the big one first, closer to me anyway. Now, looks like we have, I can actually read that, back. Yeah, that there, uh, hopefully you can see that. You peel that off once we've cleaned everything down, stick it on top. I reckon, I reckon that's a pretty good fit. What I find with the, uh, the glass protectors is that you normally do get a bubble or two when you put it on at least for the first day or, or whatever, and then they kind of go away by themselves, which is good. So this probably won't look brilliant the first time I put it on. I hope it does, but I, I wouldn't count on it. As usual, anyone who's done a screen protector on your phone, you probably know what's going on. You've got a green wet one, you've got a pink red dry one. First, you go wet. I mean, I have already wiped it down, but let, let's pretend I didn't. Normally there's a bit of alcohol in here which will evaporate pretty quick and you know we'll really get rid of any um, greasy fingerprints left over from um, filthy people like me. Wipe that around. All right. Up and down, left and right as well. And uh, we don't want it too wet ideally. Now that looks a little bit streaky so we're going to use the dry little paper towel thing. Hopefully this doesn't leave any lint behind. Once I've dried it off and I'm happy with it, we're going to get that glass protector on pretty quick. The longer you wait till putting it on, the more chance you're going to get a bit of dust or a little thing getting between the screen and the screen protector. Again, I was wanting a matte protector, but all they had was a glossy one. Make sure you don't touch the screen with your fingers once you've wiped it down. It's pretty good. I'm gonna peel that off there. Don't touch the sticky side either. I'm going to position it at the bottom first, level with that horizontal bar above the button. If we're lucky, 
Nope, we're not lucky there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Professional at work, you know. Right, you can kind of maybe make out how that screen protector adhesive just working it all the way out. Hmm. Alright, main one's on. Not really going to be able to gauge the fingerprint resistance at the moment. Uh, well, tell you what, let's try. about what would normally do. I reckon that's actually that's actually pretty good. For a uh, regular glossy protector, I mean you can maybe make out I'm gonna try and get the angle so you can see the reflection. You can maybe make out a couple of really faint fingerprints, but I've got really filthy fingers. I should have washed them before putting this on that. It's alright. Well Again, we're not really going to touch that one, but we've got the uh, driver's um, screen protector. Might as well chuck it on as well. We'll wipe that down with our glass cleaner as usual. Go through the wet wipe, the dry wipe, and stick that on. We are complete. We've put the screen protector on the main and the driver little screen as well. Pretty easy, as you saw in the video there. There's one tiny, tiny little air bubble. I don't know if you can see it right there-ish. Uh, and like I said before, I reckon that will just work itself out. Um, if it doesn't, I'm fine with not having the screen protector on that. You're never really going to touch it because it is not touch capable anyway. It is a glossy one. You can see the reflection there. I do prefer the matte one. So if they do end up releasing one, which I'm sure they will, I will buy that too. Change it over and we'll have a look at the comparison. Overall, yeah, really easy, good value, cheap, quick. Why wouldn't you do it? It stops all the fingerprints getting on there. And uh, what happens if we turn the light on? Yeah, I mean, same thing. You can see it went on really well. Very easy to line up. If you're gonna do it, I recommend lining it up just above that little silver strip on the buttons there, and then folding it down onto the screen, and you're good to go. Thank you very much. Again, like, comment, subscribe, all that usual kind of thing, and I will catch you in the next video.